With spring break around the corner, then of course the extensive summer holiday season, many of us will be planning a getaway. Most of us still want to stay connected online while on vacation. And joining us this morning with some tips on how to stay connected without the cost is online security expert David Pat. Morning, Dave. Morning, Mike. This is, um, it's becoming easier and easier. I mean, there was a time where it was real prohibitive and expensive to, to use your Absolutely. phone while you're away, but, but, but things have changed. So, so give us an example of, of some of the messaging options that are available. People are always worried about, is it gonna cost me to text? Is it gonna cost me to do this, to do that? The big key is people have to realize that, um, like let's say you're on an iPhone. You have to realize that there's a difference between something that's green when it comes in as a text or blue. Blue means it uses data. Green means it uses your actual cell phone carrier network. You'll pay for those green ones every single time. The blue ones, however, if you're on local Wi-Fi or you have a good data plan, a good roaming plan, it's, it's essentially free. Like, I mean, you're not paying for that. That's the iMessage, right? You got it. But the same thing goes with apps. WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Skype, any of those apps that you're going to use on your phone are going to be free because they're going to use data. And if you're making sure that you're, you have a good plan for roaming or you basically use Wi-Fi where you can, then you're not paying for that. Okay. Uh, what should you do with your phone with respect to settings and things before you leave just to keep those costs down? Well, the big thing I tell people is number one, do your research and make sure that you know if your, your cell phone carrier has a roaming plan. What is that? And how much are you going to pay? Do you need to activate anything like a travel add-on? Uh, number two, make sure that you don't have roaming enabled on your phone unless you know what that means. Like just because otherwise it's going to automatically happen. And I'll give you a big no-no on that one. Cruise ships. I don't care what cell phone carrier network you're on, cruise ships are always going to be expensive to travel on. Uh, and the other thing is to make sure that you're aware of your cell phone, the, the little SIM card that goes inside. You can actually get SIM cards in a lot of countries you go to, especially if you go abroad, uh, say Asia uh, or in Europe. And I always get a travel SIM in those locations and don't use my own. And they're very inexpensive, generally speaking, for tourists. So how will that compare to, let's say, I don't know, I'm with Rogers, I think they all have similar plans, uh, roam while you're away and, and that type of thing. So if you're, if you're away in Europe or something and it was $10 a day, how would that compare to getting a, a SIM card and slipping it into your phone? The SIM cards that I've obtained in a lot of countries um, only cost 10 or $20 for your entire trip. Now, in terms of uh, what's available uh, with that card, though, is that based on your regular plan or is it a whole different plan? Completely different plan. So your phone number is no longer available. That's ah, a big gotcha. Yes. So put a voice message on there that says you're not available. You know, please send me an email or please contact me through these alternate uh, messaging apps. However, on that note, um, it's very inexpensive. Like you're only going to pay 10 or $20. Plus, Mike, you're not going to have any surprises. It's impossible for them to charge you extra when you're not using your own SIM card. Can you use a different SIM card without unlocking your phone, though? No. So, and then you have to pay <laughs> to unlock your phone. Yes, but you okay. know what? That has great resale value. Mike, if you ever want to sell your phone afterwards and get a new one, having an unlocked phone is huge. Okay, so that's so an attraction, it. right. So uh, any other tips while traveling? Uh, I think the big thing is to be very aware of your data. Um, there's a, uh, an app out there called My Data Manager that actually tells you how much you're using on a daily basis and alerts you if you're going over. The other thing is there's an interesting Canadian company out there called no roaming and they have a thing which is a sticker that you put on top of your sim card and it becomes a dual sim so when you travel I have a US phone number and a UK phone number and I can also get my phone number to work anywhere in the world and they have unlimited data options in the US when I travel well you have all the tricks <laughs> one other thing though some have suggested just get a cheap phone or something while you're yes, away. What that's about another that? idea. But you know what? You like to have your photos, your apps, you know, your, your Facebook. It's all on your phone. Get another phone and it, you're just setting yourself up for some complication. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, David. If uh, you want to follow Dave on Twitter, it's a real simple proposition. You can check out his blog. You can follow him on Twitter. There's uh, his handle there. It's at David Papp and his blog is uh, davidpapp.com.